Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time for the second trivia round of the week. We have three wonderful rounds of eight question each trivia for you delivered directly through your computer or phone from Doug at the Tualatin Public Library. And once again, the way it's going to work is I'm going to read you the questions for three rounds. Each have eight questions each. And then I'm going to read you the answers. So if you need to go back, slow down, whatever, take some time to re-listen to the questions before you're ready to move on to the answers, that's totally okay. Go at your own pace because I'm going to go ahead and get started. So here we go. Round number one is called Cinematic Sayings, and these are phrases and quotes from different movies. So without further ado, here's number one. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? That's number one. What movie is that from? Number two, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Number three, you had me at hello. You had me at hello. Number four, you don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. And number five, it's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. Number six, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. And number seven, ooh, this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swap in manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. And number eight, there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. Okay, that was round one. There's eight cinematic sayings for you. And we're going to move into round two. It's called, Yeah, You're Working, Building a History. And we have various history trivia for you. For example, here's number one. What type of gun did John Wilkes Booth use to assassinate U.S. President Abraham Lincoln? What type of gun? I don't need the specific model and everything, just a generic description of the type of gun he used. And number two, what international body was established in 1945 immediately following World War II? What international body? And number three, what was the name of the first satellite launched into space? The first satellite launched into space. And number four, during the Great Depression, this famous criminal opened a soup kitchen in Chicago to feed the unemployed. Famous criminal who opened up a soup kitchen in Chicago during the Great Depression. And number five, who was the first woman appointed to the United States Supreme Court? The first woman appointed to the United States Supreme Court. Okay, number six, during the Second World War, this woman served as a cultural icon and as a representation of all the women who were working in factories and shipyards across the country. A iconic woman cultural figure during World War II. All right, number seven. After being forced to abdicate his position as the Emperor of France, Napoleon Bonaparte was exiled to which island? Where did Napoleon end up? Which island? Okay, number eight. This man ruled over a large portion of what is now Romania. His cruelty and fondness for gruesome torture caused him to become associated with the vampire legend, a famous Romanian leader. Okay, and round three is pretty fun. It's called Japan or Not Japan. So I'm going to read you a sentence and you have to guess whether or not this refers to Japan or not. If it's in Japan or, you know, related to Japan, you'll understand. Number one, acupuncture was invented here sometime prior to 100 BC. Japan or not Japan? So the answers either are going to be Japan or not Japan, just to make that clear. Okay, number two, 
What's generally considered to be the world's first novel was written here. The world's first novel was written here. Japan or not? Number three. The world's most expensive watermelon was purchased here. The world's most expensive watermelon was purchased here. Okay, number four. Raw horse meat is often served here, euphemistically called cherry blossom meat after its pinkish tinge. Okay, number five. More than 85% of the coffee grown in Jamaica is sent to this country. Wow. Japan or not? Number six. The urban legend of fan death, the idea that sleeping with a fan blowing on you will kill you, is prevalent here. And number seven. This country has the longest life expectancy in the world. Longest life expectancy in the world. And number eight, fireworks were invented here in the 7th century, so Japan or not. Okay, so go ahead and take as much time as you need to go back through the previous three rounds and reread all the questions, do whatever you need to do, because I'm moving on to the answers, and you don't want to hear those before you're ready, because that would be cheating. Okay, number one, cinematic sayings. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Back to the future. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Apocalypse now. You had me at hello. Jerry Maguire. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been someone. On the waterfront. Number five. It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Number six. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Who framed Roger Rabbit? And number seven, this is going to be fun. We can stay up late, swap in manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. That's Shrek, donkey. Number eight, there's no crying in baseball. That's a league of their own. Okay, moving on to the history round, round two. Number one, what type of gun did John Wilkes Booth use to assassinate Lincoln? A Derringer pistol, tiny little pistol. And number two, this international body was established in 1945, immediately after World War II. This is the United Nations. And number three, what was the name of the first satellite launched into space? Sputnik. Number four, during the Great Depression, this famous criminal opened a soup kitchen in Chicago to feed the unemployed. This is Al Capone. And number five, she was the first woman appointed to the United States Supreme Court, uh, and it was Sandra Day O'Connor in 1981. Ronald Reagan nominated her, and she was unanimously approved and served for 24 years. So that's pretty cool. And number six, a icon of all the working women who were working in uh, the various industries and factories across the U.S., it's Rosie the Riveter. We can do it. Pretty cool lady. Number seven, uh, after he was forced to abdicate as emperor of France, Napoleon was exiled to the island of Elba. Elba. And the cruel Romanian ruler who was known for his gruesome torture, which caused him to become associated with the vampire myth, this is Vlad the Impaler, also called Vlad Dracula. And last but not least, Round three, Japan or not Japan. Acupuncture was invented here, not Japan. Acupuncture was invented in China. Uh, what's generally considered to be the world's first novel was written here, Japan. The Tale of Genji, written in the 11th century by Lady Murasaki Shikibu. And number three, the world's most expensive watermelon was purchased here. You've got to figure if it's some weird fruit-related trivia, it's got to be Japan, and it is. A black Hokkaido Densuke watermelon sold for more than $6,800 in 2008. Wow. Hopefully it was good. Number four, raw horse meat is often served here, euphemistically called cherry blossom meat after its pink color. That's Japan. Once again, the cherry blossoms, pretty popular over there. Number five, 85% of the coffee grown in Jamaica goes to Japan. It's true. That's Japan. 
And number six, the urban legend of fan death that says that if you sleep with a fan pointing at you, it might kill you while you're sleeping. This superstition is more prevalent in Korea, not Japan. That's a Korean thing. Um, and number seven, this country has the longest life expectancy in the world. That is Japan. 84 is the average life expectancy in Japan. Pretty crazy. Must be all the uh, raw horse meat and expensive watermelons. And number eight, fireworks were invented here in the 7th century. Not Japan. Once again, this honor goes to China. So there you go. There's three more rounds of trivia with Doug at the Tualatin Public Library. Go in ahead and sign in off. I will see you guys next week for two more sets of trivia. And in the meantime, I hope everyone stays happy and healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.